Hello, this is Grandmaster Yang, Yang Bok Sun. Thank you for joining Gyeonggi Pumse, Sport Pumse. Today, we're going to go over Tebek. Tebek Pumse, normally third degree black belt, learn this Tebek Pumse. When it's a sport Pumse competition, junior division, 15 through 17, must learn this Tebek Pumse in order to compete in sport Pumse. And if you are traditional Pumse competitors, if you are third degree black belt, you must know how to perform Tebek Pumse. Today, let's go over our details. All right, put your feet together. 준비. Five second. As normally, we do five second for 준비. Okay. After the chumbi, first move is open knife. Open knife. Okay. Double side blocking with a nice tiger stance. Okay. Let's see. Since we're going to go to our left, your left leg moves, your left hand should be under outside. Okay, so we're gonna look first, look at your side, get the side first, and then start forming, shifting body weight, and then pivot, finish. Okay, nice pom sogi. You know the tiger stand, you gotta put a 90% of your body weight on the back leg, and then the 10% in the front. So you can pick it up anytime. You must know how to pick it up anytime. So here we go, one more time. Left hand outside, look and shift and finish. Okay, when you complete this, let's say two up fist. One, two, and to your wrist. That's the distance of your open knife hand. Not too far. Not too close. Okay, if it's too close, it looks like that. If it's too far, it looks like that. If it's too far. Okay, if it's a good amount, that's the correct technique. And when we are blocking this, many students ask me, where do I set, where do I stop my open knife hand? Where do I stop? If you look at this angle, it's hard to see, but if you look at this angle, it's easy to see. Which leg? The one in the front. Okay? You're not setting the one in the back, you're setting the one in the front. Your left leg. So you stop with the leg that is in the front. Okay, from here, one, two. Okay, one more time here. Okay, after the tiger stand, gather up, front kick, set, one, two, double punch. So, after the tiger, when you kick, put it down, put it down. When you kick, pivot, pivot at the same time. So, right here, you put it down. And pivot at the same time and set. You got to step forward, forward stand, forward stance. Okay, and then it will be same thing. Shift your body weight, shift, look, shift your body weight, form your hand. Right hand will be in the front, so I'm going to put the right hand under. So it can be outside. So you're gonna turn and shift. Turn and shift. 
and perform the block. Okay? Got to move smooth. How do we do it? It's all about balance game, right? You shift your body weight, a good amount of body weight into your back leg, then you should be able to spin and perform without shaking your body. Okay? That's the key point for accuracy, right? So you come and then you block with the foot together when you land. When this one comes and land. When this one comes and then it lands. Okay? And it will be a same idea double punch. Double in the same spot. Okay, I already went over this. You're striking solo plexus for middle punch. So when you double, you do not punch to the left and a right or right and a left. You have to punch center, center. That's what we've been practicing. Center twice, double time, okay? So center twice, right here. Now going into the front, okay? 제비 폼, 안치기, 손날 안치기. So you're gonna shift your body weight again. See that shifting body weight? Okay, right here, shift. Okay, right here. Shift your body weight and set, set. And then when the leg comes down, chop. And knife hand. So it's an open knife hand. And 손날, 안치기. Right, knife and chop. You're doing the same time. Okay, same time. Right here, you turn set, and then finish to perform here with the chop. Then after the chop, you're gonna bend down. Okay, bend down. Bend down to do what? Push. Push out. You're gonna bend down. Bend down, push, and you perform the next punch. So, how far do we bend down? How far? Okay, we gotta get that clearly. Bend down, bend down. Do not bend more than 90 degree. Keep it 90 degree when you bend down. Keep it 90 degree, and then bring it into front of your other side of shoulder and block. This block has to be same as down block. Turn, open knife. Down block, open knife. Same, same height. Okay, that's how low you need to come out. But I see, I see people doing really high up. And then punch. No, you gotta bring it down all the way to are maki, down block. All the way up to are maki, and then set punch. You punch when your heel touch at the same time. So here, block, punch. Okay, and then we have two more, right? Okay, block, punch, same thing, block, Kia is the Kia area. Okay? So when you do this motion, you have to continuously perform those three techniques. Okay? Continuously right here. Chop. One. Hook. One. Hook. One. Ah! So you have to do continuously. Block away. Punch. Block away, punch, block away, punch. Okay, after the punch, we're at the punch. So then you're gonna set small hinge. Okay, set small hinge. So right here, set small hinge before you go. Where's the body go? Body goes to the front. The body weight goes to the front. So you could turn and block. Okay, one more time, maybe from this angle this time, right here, body, and then block, 
A nice back stand. 뒷구비. The 70% and a 30%. Right? 뒷구비. So let me show you this way. Right here. Turning. Nice. 뒷구비. High. In out. Set. Up. Set. Punch. Your stand never moves when you do that. Only your upper body moves. Only upper body moves. Leg doesn't move. So when you come here, okay, let me give you a little details on this block. You must bolt wrists. Think simple. Bolt wrists must pass your solar plexus. So, both wrists, this one goes here, right? And this one goes here, right? Okay. Both wrists past solar plexus. Then it's easy. Both wrists past solar plexus and set. Okay, on a rib cage, set. Okay, palm face down, going straight up, and then set, punch. Okay, and you must do this a little bit quicker. Okay, after the double blocking here. Okay, you have to do the quicker motion here. Okay, the uppercut and a side punch, right? With the back stand. So, here, after that, what do you do? Okay, what do you do? You bring it in. Bring it in. The stand never change. Correct? Okay, so the stand never change, you bring it in. Okay, and then when you kick, you pivot out for the side kick. Pivot, side kick, right? Okay, and then what do you do with the other? This hand goes side hammer, right? Side hammer, and then this leg, a side kick, right? Side hammer, side kick. Okay, side hammer, side kick at the same time. Okay, after side hammer, land and elbow. Okay, land and elbow. Side hammer, set, 펴적 치기, 팔굽 펴적 치기, elbow strike. Set your target, have your heels up. And land at the same time. Okay. After landing same time, shifting. See the knee is bending. When you want to shift, your knee bend, put it together. I normally, I normally put it together and then I pivot and set. That's how I normally do. Okay, so right here, put, and then action. Okay, that's how I normally do. Some people, turns in, put it together here, in this motion, and then they just go with the uh, single foot. But for me, I always think about how to create the impact. How do we create the impact? Easy. You're pivoting and rotation. Okay, so here I'm gonna put it together, looking over my shoulder, and then finish with last 15 to 20 degree pivoting. Right? Okay, so right here. Okay, and here. Set, set, relax. Okay, set. And then here, relax. Okay, and then here, relax. Okay, so the stand cannot be broken when you're doing those motion. You know, I see a bad example because I go to competition a lot. I go to tournament. I see a, a big mistake for a few people. When they do this motion, they cannot move their stance, but they go one, two. 
they keep wobbling with the stance. Okay, right here, it's hard to imitate. This one goes in, this one goes in. When they punch, they go on, goes in, and they come back out, this one come back out again. And then, and then when they push, they have to stay, but when they push, they stand up. They already stood up, and then they just kick from there. That's a big no-no. Okay, so you must keep the tikkubi back stand. Okay, back stand. One, two, one, two. Okay, one, two, one, two. And then strike. Okay, so actually it is really hard to practice, but if you want to practice over and over after the side kick. So it's after the side kick, right? Here, after the side kick, what do you do? You need to chamber down. This one right here, this is the key. This is my secret. Okay, right here. Kick, kick, and set. Having a set, step, and then finish. That's my secret. How to catch our balance? Bend your knee. Can you balance easy when your knees are straight? Can you balance easy? No, this is actually, I think, it's a harder to balance. But if you bend your knee, this is easier to balance than stay up and try not to move. But if you bend it, slightly bend it, you have more better control to go right or left. You could control this if your knee is bent. But if your knee is straight and once you lose balance, now you're going down. Okay? Simple. Okay? Bend your knee before kick. Bend your knee right after the kick when you rechamber. Then you will catch balance. Okay? It's an easy game if you could train that way. Okay? So after here, snap. Next move, same thing. Bending, bending, bending. Bending double knife hand. We're gonna go to the back, right? Okay, double knife hand back. Knife hand set, knife hand set. Okay, so do that in smooth transition of one, two. Okay, it's one, two. Not one, two, three. That's kind of late. Okay, it's, it's more like one, two, and three. Okay, so the next technique is best. If we go side of you here now, from here, okay, so it's one, two, right? Double knife in, and three, right? Finger thrust. Finger thrust. You gotta go through the stomach. That's why you gotta go fast on the right after that. Okay, and then you're gonna spin, strike, tempo point, and then finish with the punch key up, right? So here it's one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and kia. Okay, so that's the move. Let me show you slowly. From here, set knife up, finish. Set the prepare hand, finish. Front stand, I'm gonna make alternate front stand by pivoting and setting. Now I do have a front stand this way if I look. But from this front stand, all you have to do is twist and set your hand. Okay, now when you set your hand, your wrist has to be at the solo plex level. Why? Because you were supporting the finger thrust. You just took it out. Then it comes straight back. It doesn't go straight up, right? Okay, if you think about it, you need to come straight back. 
not up. It was supporting him, right? It was supporting him straight back. Okay, and then turn around, set. Set, what is this hand doing? Pointing at my target. That's why it's out there. And then I strike. That's why your hand has to be set, strike. Set, strike, set, strike, set, block, set, block. Okay, and then lastly, after the uh, knuckle strike to the temple point, oh, okay, this is on the left hand side, so that's why it's my hand, my hand is on the left, not on the right. This is wrong as well. We don't strike like this, we strike all the way through. Stop at left, my left, my left side. Okay, and then you set for punch from here. Set, punch, kia. Okay, now after the punch, kia. Okay, here we go. Scissor, scissor, block. Right? Scissor block did went over at Taegu Chiljang. So if you continue practice, you will become natural as well. Scissor block is another simple technique. Simple two technique became one. One is down block, and everybody know down block. One is in out block, in out block, okay, in out block. When you do in out block, so our palm face down, and then we do in out block. When we do regular down block, palm face my face, and then we turn palm face down, down block. Down block, down block, set, set, in out block, set, set, in out block. Which way do we turn our waist? Follow in out block, not down block. Follow in out block, in out block, in out block, in out block, and down block, scissor block. Okay. Easy, right? All right. Okay. After punching, so you turn one. Okay. After you face here, the strike, the blocking hand cannot be higher than a shoulder level. It cannot go outside. It cannot be stuck inside like this. Make sure it's straight in line. You did block with inside wrist. Inside wrist block. That's why it's set on the shoulder side line, okay? Not the body center line, shoulder line, okay? And then finish at the shoulder line. Then down block, same thing. I finish on my leg, my leg line, my left leg, my left leg. Finish my left leg line. So it looks like this. Showing you side view, it looks like this. It looks like a one arm all the way to the elbow, and then one goes up, one goes down, right? This is how you're supposed to see. Not, not like this, not like that. 90 degree, 90 degree right in here, the angle. So one out block, in out block, and scissor block. Okay, and then key, right? So after the uh, scissor block, we snap kick, double punch. Same double punch, punch solo plex twice. Okay, in our block, kick set, double punch, and then you're gonna push again, bending your back leg. But I'm gonna look the other side, right? Bending your back leg. Okay, all right, double punch, bending your back leg, boom. Okay, in our block, boom, right here again, same one. So if you if you bend your knee. You could rotate with the ball of the foot. You rotate with the ball of the foot. That's why we need to bend our knees. So that way you could rotate with the ball of the foot. Because we see, we see many, same thing, many people turn with the heel. It's hard to demonstrate, I'm not used to it. So uh, it's really hard here and then they do the scissor blocks, okay? Uh, so please, think about where you're gonna put the body weight. It will help your turning. Turning part is easy, okay? 
And then individual technique, you must continuously make it faster, make it stronger, make it more sharp, make sure it lands correct, you know, all those individual mean, okay? So right here, double punch, turning, one, okay? Here, right here, okay? Right here, su -ha. Okay, one more time, right here, su -ha. Okay, and then ki, double punch, okay? Should be ending this way, right? And then, 바로, 하나, 둘, 셋, 넷, 다섯. Okay, shot. All right. Tebek. The, the point, the key point area, key point area for Tebek is when you're coming forward. Okay? Everybody will do great on this first beginning or the last snap kick double punch ending. Where's the key point? Coming forward. Pow! You gotta put them together. Nice and smooth, like water flows, but you wanna show the wave. Like you're in the sea, okay? And then after that, you do the double and fast move here with a nice side kick and landing. Good control, but fast. Okay, and then coming to the back, one, two, and three. One, two, and three. You gotta show the nice combination of rhythm when you're going to the back. Okay, so those are the key points. And then that's where a referee likes to see a great technique from those area. Okay, so Tebek Pumse, it's a one of kind, a really nice form, whoever created it, I love it, and then I enjoy doing it, and many of the students, they will agree to me, they will love this form, Tebek. They might not enjoy much on Pyeongwon, which is the next one that is going to come up, but up to here in Tebek, they will enjoy it. Since they had a trouble, not too much enjoyable from Kumgan, now there's something that people enjoy with Tebek, and then they're gonna have more challenge on Pyeongwon. And then after that, Shipjin, which everybody loves to see, and it's not that hard. It's not that hard. It's, it's a, another good form. Okay, so this is our Tebek details, and I'll see you in next Pumse. Tune it! Tune it!